Hello and welcome back to Explore with Gapu. If you're new to this channel, you are welcome. Please do remember to subscribe, like, share and hit that notification button for more videos. Yes, today I'm going to cover a tasty drink. Um, this is another edition of Home Remedy. Um, last week I covered um, the benefits of consuming ginger and I showed you all a home remedy to improve lung function. So today we're going to cover a drink that will help cleanse your liver and kidneys. So that drink is made out of watermelon, ginger and lemon. Now today I'm just going to do a recap of the benefits of ginger since we already covered that in last week's video. So if you want to get an in-depth benefit of ginger, please watch last week's video. So to do a recap of ginger, I'm just going to mention that ginger helps activate antioxidant pathways and provides significant protection to our kidneys. That's in reference to cleansing your kidneys and your liver. So this root contains a compound called gingerol, which I covered in depth in last week's video. And gingerol is an incredibly potent antioxidant, right? So it helps to draw toxins out of your kidney area. How nice is that? And it increases blood circulation in that area as well, which helps to dissolve hard masses like kidney stones. So if you have kidney stones, you can drink lots and lots of water and consume ginger, which will help, right? So ginger in this drink um, also contains anti-carcinogenic properties, right? So that ginger oil that I mentioned earlier has anti-inflammatory benefits and it helps to inhibit the effects of different molecular factors that switch on certain cancer genes like those of your ovaries and your prostate so you hear of ovarian cancer and you hear of prostate cancer so that ginger oil in your ginger can help and it has also been found to induce apoptosis i know that's a big word <laughs> <laughs> apoptosis in cancer cells so what's apoptosis apoptosis is cell death right so ginger targets cancerous cells but leaves healthy cells alone hi yeah yeah now that's a lot of terms just for ginger alone so that will be enough for ginger today let's dive into lemon yeah lemon i know a lot of us use lemon right on a daily basis some of us um every day some of us maybe once in a while some of us will seldomly use it but now let's know why we use lemons right why do we even consume it is it important why is it important to even consume lemons so lemon contains vitamins fiber and plant compounds in that can be very healthy right but it's not actually common to just eat lemon like that because we all know it's sa right and it can actually erode uh, enamel their teeth enamel and very very sensitive for those who have sensitive teeth so it's always good to dilute that so lemon comes with vitamin c and do you know that about 50 milligrams of vitamin c right are available in your lemon that's over half of the amount of vitamin C needed in your daily diet. So just consuming lemon or just squeezing it in your tea or just squeezing it in your water that day, you've already consumed a good amount of vitamin C. And what's vitamin C, by the way? It is an antioxidant which helps protect cells from damage. It also helps your body make collagen for your skin. So consuming vitamin C actually helps with your skin, guys. Oh, yes. I know some of you would like to hear that part. Now, it helps your body absorb iron and supports your immune system, right? So that's a very, very good aspect of consuming lemon. It also helps in weight management. Oh, yes. So lemon contains pectin fiber, right? And that helps in making you feel full 
So if you're trying to curb your appetite, putting some lemon in water and drinking that daily would help you do that. It um, is an effective tool to help you lose weight and manage that weight. So what I do on a daily is I have my two liter container that I just squeeze lemon in it and I just consume that on the daily. So I just make it a habit and that in itself helps curb that appetite and eventually would help you lose weight. And you know, consuming water helps a lot too because it also flushes those toxins out of your system. Now, what else does lemon do? Hey, it helps prevent anemia, right? So lemon can help your body absorb more iron from plant-based foods in your diet. And that would help to maintain proper iron levels, which helps to prevent anemia. So if you have a lower than average number of red blood cells, which is called iron deficiency, consuming lemon will help your body absorb iron more when you eat foods that have iron in it. Lemon also helps with kidney stone prevention. So in as much as it has that sad taste, it comes with a lot of benefits. And some studies show that the citric acid in that lemon can help prevent the formation of kidney stones. So that's a very vital information, guys. Lemon also helps in antibacterial ways, right? So it has antibacterial and antifungal properties. And these plant compounds in lemon juice concentrate effectively and it inhibits the growth of salmonella. I know we've heard of salmonella, staphylococcus, and candida infections. So there was a study done to show the effects of those. And it was also effective against one particular antibiotic resistant bacteria that causes pneumonia and blood infections. So you see, that is a lot of benefits. Just squeezing the lemon and drink it in your water every day and just making a habit out of that. You don't know you're, you're helping your body in a lot of ways, right? So having your lemon is very valuable, right? And knowing that lemon also has a particular type of nutrient called flavonoids. That flavonoid in itself helps a lot in cancer prevention, right? So some scientists have found tiny nanoparticles in lemon juice in lab tests on cells that help inhibit cell reproduction and activated cancer cell death. So these are all, when, when you hear of these benefits, it, it helps you to, it raises awareness per se, right? to help you want to consume that lemon even more. So now on to watermelon. I love watermelon just because there are just some days you wake up and in as much as you're required to drink um, at least 64 ounces of water a day, there are just some days you don't feel like drinking water. Now, guess what? Those days still drink your water, but if, it, if you feel like you're not able to drink those 64 ounces at least, you can eat watermelon because watermelon is packed with water, 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 watermelon, right? So let's dive in and know more about the benefits of consuming watermelon. So what's watermelon? Watermelon is a nice yummy, yummy fruit <laughs> and it's full of lycopene, which is the naturally occurring chemical in red fruit and veggies that gives them their vibrant red color. So it has been shown to prevent heart disease and protecting against at least five or six cancers, including uterine, prostate, bladder, and lung. Wow, isn't that good guys? That's just good to hear. Now it's full of antioxidants as well. So it protects against cell damage, which is also very beneficial for healthy and glowing skin. So just imagine what this drink would do to you. So just consuming this drink made out of watermelon, ginger, and lemon will not only help cleanse your liver and your kidneys, but it also helps your skin to glow. Hey, guys, women, that's beautiful, isn't it? Now, lemons are a powerful 
not lemons, sorry guys. Watermelon, watermelon are very powerful and is an excellent natural diuretic, meaning that it helps increase urine flow, but it doesn't strain the kidneys, unlike alcohol and caffeine. So when you drink alcohol and you drink lots and lots of caffeine, you put the strain on your kidneys. So when you do that, consume lots and lots of watermelon as well, so that it will help as a natural diuretic for you to flush out all of that, right? So that you won't put a strain on your kidneys. Now, most people with kidney disease also have high blood pressure. Did you know that? High blood pressure can actually make the state of your kidneys worse and can lead to kidney failure. So watermelon contains a compound called citrulline, citrulline which relaxes and dilates blood vessels and helps lower high blood pressure. Guys, the more reason why we should consume, we should consume watermelon. Watermelon also contains lycopene. I just talked about that, right? And that's very cool because it helps improve blood flow via vasodilation. So vasodilation does relaxation of blood pressure. So watermelon is really good, guys. It's really, really good. Now, watermelon is very alkaline. It is one of the most alkaline forming fruits on the planet. Now I'm going to repeat that again. Watermelon is one of the most alkaline forming fruits on the planet. So eating plenty of alkaline forming fruits can help reduce your risk of developing disease and illness caused by a meat, eggs, and dairy heavy diet. So if you're someone who loves consuming your meat in large quantities, your eggs and a lot of dairy products, it's good to consume lots and lots of watermelon as well, right? So that because it comes with that alkaline benefit, you're going to help yourself reduce the chances of you developing cancer later in life. So it contains a host of vitamin C. That's your watermelon. So if you see your lemon and your watermelon in this drink comes with a host of vitamin C, which protects from free radical DNA damage and lycopene helps reduce inflammation and neutralize free radicals. So what have we learned from this, guys? This drink made out of watermelon, ginger, and lemon does not only help flush your liver and kidneys, but it helps in a whole lot of other ways, right? Preventing, help preventing some forms of cancer and and reducing, like helping you with anemia, right? Anemia prevention, and a whole lot of things that you've just heard. So consuming this delicious, refreshing drink comes with a lot of health benefits. Why? Because its ingredients are great to ward off cancer. It will cleanse your liver and kidney and will also appear as part of your beauty ritual with its anti-aging properties anti-aging guys properties so if you would like you can also you know do this and let's say if you don't want your kids to consume the regular popsicle that you buy from your grocery stores you can also do this like in the summertime i do this in form of popsicle and just put it in popsicle cups and stack it in the freezer and then take it out and my kids just suck on that so If I just do the drink and give them to drink, they will not drink it. But when I put it in popsicle form, oh yes, they would enjoy it. So guys, it's been a pleasure again. And I hope you try this combination and not just enjoy the fact that it's a delicious drink, but also enjoy the benefits that comes with it. All right. It's been a pleasure and I hope to see you all again next week. Don't forget to share this video with your loved ones and 
help someone understand the benefits of consuming this drink. Please do remember to subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification button for more videos. Stay blessed. Ciao, ciao.